Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do sport. Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close Encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blow. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week we're heading back up to Manitoba where the Manitoba Monsters. Well, we're not heading back up. Freddie and Dean are heading back up. Yep. Yep, to Ken Gangler. It was their turn. Up to Canadian Subarctic. But it's our turn. Soon. Soon. Yep. Soon. But this is Freddie and Dean's show. Yeah, the emotional one, Freddie, our producer, and Dean, one of the posse guys, head up there. And you know, a lot of times on these wilderness hunts, believe it or not, it could take a few days to get there. Oh, absolutely. But before we get to getting how long it takes to get up there, let's tell them that this week's lucky logo is Plano. Stimulus so you want to look plan. for the you want to look for the Plano logo. Plano logo. The Plano Ooh. logo. And at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do. And someone's going to win some great stuff from Plano. Yes, keep your gear protected. Now, what let's go that? see. Keep your gear protected. I just thought I'd throw that one. I'd slide that one in there. Nice. Okay, well, let's just, you know what? Freddie and Dean, they have a long trip up there, and let's just see long. how they do. Shall we? June 16, 2008, and I'm heading towards O'Hare Airport. I'm getting ready to bear down, baby. I'm getting ready to head up to Ken Gangler's Canadian Subarctic Hunting with Brother Man and uh, posse member Dean Ashton. I think this bear hunt up there with Ken, it's known for big bears, so I'm ready to go to Canadian Subarctic Hunting. Let's head to O'Hare Airport. Part of our trip complete. We have four flights, that was two. We're in Thompson, Manitoba now. So me and Freddie will go see where we're gonna stay, catch another plane in the morning, get into the lodge, and then go out to the camp. Looks beautiful out here. There's trees and just water everywhere you look flying in. Nice weather too. No bugs. Yeah, yeah. not yet. Let's <laughs> hope it stays that way. Yeah. <laughs> Head into Ken Gangler's Lodge. Soon we'll be out there where them big bears live. Uh, anyone have any questions? This your first flight? No. Okay. <laughs> All right? Yeah. <laughs> Always gotta ask if it's our first flight. <laughs> Yes, sir. Anything we need to know about John? Big bears. Big bears. John and big bears are. John, we call John MacGyver. MacGyver. He's always trying to fish, you know, always trying to figure things out. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got MacGyver and we got big bears. I think we ought to be set for the week. Thanks a lot, buddy. We appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> She'll hit her head. Oh. Don't go away, because when we come back, we're going to join Freddie yeah. in a really, 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 really small tree. tree. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's join Freddie doing? as he gets up in that little, 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 little tree. Really little tree. What are you doing? I'm seeing if it makes a bug go away. It worked! little tree.
time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. Lighted knocks. One of the biggest fads going on right now, and it really is a great feature. Why? One, it's going to enable you to turn around and see your arrow placement. That's critical in today's society because with the speeds of the arrows traveling today, you need to be able to know what you have to do. For example, if it's farther back, you know you gotta wait longer. If it's right there, well, 30 minutes and you're, you're recovering your trophy. The second thing you wanna remember, and that is, in some states, a lighted knock is illegal. Hmm, don't know why, don't understand it, but the bottom line here is go online before you go on a certain hunt. Check the state or the private provincial regulations so you aren't doing something illegally. You know, this Easton Tracer is so easy. It just, to turn it off, you just run it past the little magnet. To turn it on. Ooh, I love these things. That is your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. Careful, I'm gonna snap this stupid little tree right in two. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. He's down. I can hear a bone and he's down. Ooh. Oh, he's right here. He's right here, Dina. See him right here, baby? <laughs> Here we are, <laughs> day uh, day number three here at Canadian Subarctic Hunting. It's actually day number two of our hunting. Day one was spent scouting and checking baits, but uh, we had stealth cam pictures of this guy right here. We knew he was on this bait, and uh, it just so happened we were sitting here. We figured we'd get in here this afternoon and sit from about one to five. And about uh, 3:45 or so, I looked up and just saw a black spot moving through the bush. You know, this is just an awesome, awesome day. Northern Manitoba, Canadian subarctic hunting, Manitoba monsters. Right here, guys, the proof is in the pudding. It doesn't get no better than this right here. Hey, Freddie, congratulations. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Way what to go, Fred. Oh, help me, don't go anywhere when we come back. <laughs> well, I'm okay. We'll see how Dean's doing. Welcome back to Archer's Choice. Don't wanna go there. <laughs> You know, here's what's cool going up to Ken Gangler's. And in the one evening, these guys witness a wild wolf in the wild. How cool is that? And they see a good bear, but they're not sure. So they take the footage back and show John MacGyver. And well, we'll see what happens.
Now let's join Dean the next afternoon and let's see how close encounter they can get now. Well, it's our last day up here at King Gangler's Canadian Subarctic Hunting. We've been seeing a lot of bears. We're back, we're doing an early morning sit. It's only noon. We're gonna try and get some midday stuff in. Like Freddy shot his bear, it was about three or a little bit before four. So we're seeing, we're back, we're at Sow and Cubs. We're, we're hoping that another big boar is gonna come in here maybe tracking them around, they're leaving scent everywhere. And if not, tonight we cut a tree down out of our way where we were last night. We'll go back up there where that Solomon boar was. That boar's looking pretty good. We might take that boar tonight if we don't get an opportunity here this morning. You talk about cool. To have that bear come that close and, you know, that bear came in, looked at Diener and said, no, he's a meaner Diener, but Freddy, hmm. You know, and to see the wolves and to have all those types of encounters, that's why we hunt. And what are you doing? I'm on our camo space account. There's a lot of friends on there. I don't think they know you. <sighs> you don't want to go anywhere. We'll come back with more bear action. Look at that, I can and get you on. I can Dean get us can on the phone. Let me see that. No. I'll throw it, I'll feed it to I those know. bears. I know, I know. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Okay, John MacGyver Here. gave him the green light. Now, we gotta see if Diener, Mean or Diener can do it. Yeah. yeah, they're going back to the stand. Yes. Okay, go get him. Last night, we sat this bait. We had a boar and a sow come in. And the boar hid behind a tree there at the bait all night. Never gave us an opportunity. John took care of that tree for us last night before we left. We're all baited up, set in here. We got probably six hours before. It's kind of dark, so we're gonna see what happens. Maybe that boar will come in tonight. He tries to hide in the same spot tonight. He's in trouble because that tree's out of the way.
and you're a ginger beer. Not even. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making it help me make a good shot and go down fast. Thank you, Freddie, for being here with me. We had a heck of a hunt there, buddy. Thanks to Ralph and Vicky, Kane Gangler, everyone here at Canadian Subarctic hunting. It's an awesome place, man. That's a nice bear. He is a lot bigger than I thought he was. Awful lot bigger. Silly girl, this is oh, how you geez. do it. <laughs> Nice. Really nice. Yes. Hey, we sure hope you enjoyed this week's show. And, well, we want to thank Ken Gangler, Manitoba Monsters, Subarctic Hunting. Yeah, and we want to congratulate Dean and Freddie. Would you just turn it off? Hey, if you happen to see the Plano logo this week, would you turn it off? <laughs> you need to go on, log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the lucky logo button. Someone's going to win something really cool. Yeah, keep yeah. your gear protected. Absolutely. Hey. That's it, I guess, huh? That's it. We're wrapping it up. Okay, well, yeah, now that you got fire going. Yes. Mmm. Mmm, man. Tatanka Oachi. Oh, okay, hey, we'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. <laughs> right here. On, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. That's you should check the wind direction. The wind's coming this way.